transitioning to the new normal. We're excited to have you back for the third series of our webinar. We've all had some type of impact regarding how work is conducted over the last 30 to 60 days. And so our goal today is to talk about what that new normal is going to be. As people start to join, we're gonna put up a question. As always, we'd like to talk about and get some feedback from you. So we're gonna get that going right now so we can see how many people are actually joining. So if you would go to, pull out your smartphone and go to menti.com and use the code that you're seeing on the screen, we'd like to know how are you feeling as you anticipate this transition back to your new norm? So please go ahead and put that, put your one word into that as, as we're waiting for people to join. And if you haven't, you'll also see, if you have not also downloaded the worksheet, today is going to be very interactive. There is a worksheet that is in our chat, and um, you will see that URL coming up. So I believe we have it up. So we're waiting for the word cloud to come in. So hopefully we're getting to see some of those menti anxious yeah a lot of people are starting to feel anxious we've been in this rut for this last 30 to 60 days you know as you're starting to come across and you think about think about the federal and the local and the state government they've resulted in this rapid shutdown and this rapid shift to us having to think about what our new normal is going to be and a lot of us are sitting here thinking we'd like to go back to the old normal so all the words that we're seeing up here concerned uncertain um, excited, all of those are how we're starting to feel, which means that's how all of your employees are feeling at this as well. So good. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Looks like we have a good amount of people who are here on the phone. I'll let a, a few more words start to come in as they're there. My name is Barbara Grisset. I'm the Vice President of Organizational Change Management at AVAP Consulting. Again, I'm joined today by my colleague, Dr. Shannon Sims. So we look forward to spending the next 30 minutes with you talking about what the new norm is. And we're going to introduce you to a three, three areas that we're going to focus on. So we have a lot of words starting to come in, um, confused, uncertain, tired, anxious. Those are all great things. Those are things that we're weary. And we're starting to wonder what is that new norm going to look like? So. We'll keep those coming, but we're going to go ahead and transition to the next slide and start to talk about the three areas we want you to consider. And if you haven't, please go to the worksheet that's in the chat menu that Vanessa has put up there for you and please download that worksheet. It's going to really bring what we've been talking about over these last three weeks together and get you to start to plan what's going to be happening here. So let's talk about the transition to our new normal. Um, thinking about it from a change management's perspective, when we go through a change and an organization is going through a change, they go through three very distinct states. They go through the current state, through a transition state, and through a future state. And right now, we're trying to understand our current state, this current state that we have been forced into, and what does it look like? And we had no planning for it. It just showed up. And we're gonna talk about what does that define that new normal? And you're gonna see that it's a longer transition period that you can see that's depicted here on the screen in yellow. And that's because if we have to get all of the people that are feeling the same way that you're feeling and move them along to what that new future is going to be, and we have to plan for that rollout. So as you see, as we move through the bottom, the current transition and future, those are the three things that we're going to focus on. And we're gonna make sure you have a good understanding of what the current new norm is, what is the future going to look like? And how are we going to move all of those folks through that? So let's move to the next slide and start to talk about what that um, current state is. We want to make sure you have a good understanding of your current state. And so if you pull out your worksheet and take a look, you're going to see some of the areas that we want to focus on is on you, on your team impact, on your business impact, and what is that return to business? So as it says, as the clouds are starting to part ways, we're trying to figure out what is that new current state going to look like? 
So when you look at your worksheet there and we go to the next slide, you can start to think about some of these areas. We gotta to start to gather a lot of information from our employees and we have to make sure that we understand how are our customers gonna be operating in this new world. And at the same time, we have a lot of guidelines that are happening, not just from the federal government, but from the state government and the local government. And we're determining what are those guidelines and how is it going to impact our business? And how are we going to get that? What is that new form gonna look like going forward? So I wanna share with you what those things are going to be on your worksheet. So the first one is that team impact. This is, we've talked about looking at your team before, but we wanna make sure that you have a good idea of what you've learned about your team during this time. And what is the best way and the most productive way to be effective and efficient and working with your team? So I want you to think about that. I'm not gonna ask you to do it today. This is something that you can take some time. We're gonna give you the overview on this. And then the next one I want you to focus in is on the business impact. And the business impact is really about what is that interaction in that relationship, either, either with your internal customer or your external customer. And at the same time from a business impact, you cannot lose sight of your organization cultural values and that vision and that mission, because those are gonna be your driving principles and your guiding, you know, your North Star as you're moving. And what business operations have been impacted the most in this new normal? And when you have a good understanding of these two items, we can move to the third item, which is really starting to think about what is your future? And do you have a plan for return to business? Some organizations are telling us they have a phased approach. A lot of organizations are sharing with us that they're really taking a look at, is this remote working as successful? Do we need everybody to be in the office at the same time? And at the same, as well as, let's keep in, um, in mind those federal and local guidelines that we have to keep in place. So these are some great things for you to start to think about as you start to look at your current state. And I'm gonna transition it over to Dr. Sims and she's gonna talk about what it is about defining the new norm. Thank you, Barbary. Um, so Barbary kind of mentioned that, you know, any, any change has three, three states from your current to transition to the future. Um, a couple weeks ago, six, seven weeks ago, we all kind of entered a very rapid transition. It was forced on us. Um, it really has significant uncertainty. Um, but now that we've been doing this for six, seven weeks, it's really starting to solidify as our current state, which means as we start thinking about tomorrow, as we start thinking about um, two months from now, six months from now, we're going to be entering a transition state again. And that transition state really um, is going to be wrought with a lot of uncertain, more uncertainty. Um, I was reflecting earlier this week just how um, polarized the conversation is um, depending on um, what your beliefs and, and what information is resonating with you. Um, in Ohio here we had some um, some information that was provided by the governor about customers needing to wear masks um, come May 12th that customers would need to wear masks in um, retail and there was a lot of a lot of concern and people started to get really emotional so those who are falling on the line that they're super supportive those who are falling on the line that they, they don't think that that's something we should do and so as we're thinking about what that new norm is going to be what the new normal is going to be in your organization we have to look at it through the lens of what's happening in our state how are people reacting um, and what's going on? Maybe you're an organization that crosses state boundaries and those, those state and federal guidelines, or I'm sorry, those state guidelines may be different depending on where you sit. And so a couple of things just to really um, kind of think about as you're planning the new normal, as you're looking toward the future. Yeah, the first piece is really being able to um, convey the vision of what's coming down the pike. It's, it's basically, it's crafting the why and being able to provide that in a very clear manner for, um, for your workforce and for your customers. Um, 
thinking back to, you know, on the worksheet, thinking back to some of the information you've captured about your current state and taking the time to reflect on your observations, on your lessons, on the lessons that you've learned, allowing that to help guide you on what kind of decisions and actions you need to make. And I, I would offer that as you move through um, this exercise on the worksheet, this is the second section on the worksheet, that you may want to start looking at prioritizing things that are one, really easy to do, that are going to give you a big win, and also looking at the decisions and actions that could have maybe the most significant impact on your team or on your customer or on the business operations. So in the second section of the worksheet, it's titled Define the Future State. I think this is just a practical exercise um, that you can use to capture data points. Um, things are gonna remain fluid for a while. Um, I, I guess that's relative. I anticipate that things are gonna be fluid for the next um, six weeks or so, and or I'm sorry, six months or so. Um, and so you may want to think about uh, scenario planning, um, thinking in terms of you know two or three scenarios, so that as you're thinking about what's coming next, it'll help guide guide you and give you flexibility over time, so that as you get more information, you'll be able to make um, make refinements to to your way forward. Um, things to think about, right? Um, I know higher ed is been significantly impacted, right? So as you're thinking about your team. Um, maybe uh, your university is already decided that you're going to move to an online um, remote virtual delivery, right? What kind of an impact does it have for your team and for your, you know, your customer base or your students? What kind of an impact of it does it have to your business operations? Or, or maybe um, like we just read uh, the other day that Purdue has already said they're coming back in the fall. What does that mean for the team, right? Will people be concerned? Will they have um, concerns about maybe, um, folks who are flying in internationally and, and how those other countries maybe are handling um, health and safety measures, right? So really just kind of taking the time to, to think through some of those things. Um, healthcare, I, I was thinking about healthcare the other day. Maybe there, maybe if you're in healthcare, you're thinking toward the future and um, maybe now's the time to start thinking about, do we move our back office operations out of the hospital into new facilities? What kind of an impact does that have? Or, or do you move your on-premise enterprise resource planning systems to a cloud-based solution so folks can actually work from home? Government, um, a lot of government organizations have always kind of indicated that remote work was, was not really an option. Maybe now you're realizing it, it, it really is an option and will that have an impact on policies and procedures um, as you move forward. Um, so my, my best recommendation is kind of tap into your emotional intelligence and swivel to kind of view things, not from your perspective, we all have our own perspective, but to swivel them, um, kind of see things through the perspective of your team um, and your customer base and um, the other folks in your, in, in your business. So the last piece really um, is planning for that rollout. You're, you know, you're kind of taking, taking an assessment of your, of your current state. You want to um, define what the future state's going to look like and, and how big of a gap is that between the two. And then it's really around planning for that rollout. So as you move forward to kind of make that shift, I think it's important to remember to treat this like a project. This is a people-centered project. Right. This is more about people and helping them. Um, and if you think back to the very first webinar where we talked about um, alleviating sources of fear, right? Everybody's going to be coming at this through a different lens, and in your project really does need to be a very people-centered project. So it's important to make sure that you're pulling the right people together to create that project team and to think about the impacts to the people and to keep monitoring it and assessing as you go. So if you have to course correct, that you'll be able to do so um, rapidly. And um, key, I think, for all of us is communicate, 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 right? Until you feel like a broken record, it's all about transparency. Um, you may think that you're very clear. Sometimes we think we're really clear and there's still somebody who doesn't quite understand because they're looking at it through um, a different lens. That lens may be the fact that when you were talking, 
they had a child who was, you know, screaming that they wanted lunch or they, you know, they were distracted because they got a text message from a loved one who maybe, you know, is in need, right? So just remember five, five to seven times, um, six to 20, if you, you know, kind of follow the, the, the Microsoft marketing approach. Um, what I want to draw your attention to is in your worksheet, this last section is really more of a checklist. And um, it's, I don't, I don't think that it's probably comprehensive, but it definitely is a starting point to help you to start to capture or it capture some of those key considerations as you are rolling out with this new normal. I, I think really the key is treat it like a project plan or you know, treat it like a project, put together the plan, put together the right, the right people to help guide it, whether that's a task force or maybe your organization already has a task force and you're not at that decision making level. It really even for your own team, right? Pulling together the people that'll help you to roll this, uh, roll this out, whatever those decisions are. Um, when you're the leader and you're kind of out there introducing new ways of working, it can be very lonely. So bring in, bring in the, the, the team members that have a lot of influence um, or people who, who just seem to have strengths for certain things, right? Give yourself a plan, actually give yourself timelines, right? And then start thinking about the people and the change management activities. Are there new ways of working that we're gonna have to train them on? Um, are, are there things we have to communicate? Um, our firm, we were just talking, we are all over the United States, we're, actually we're global, but even here in the United States, as federal guidelines impact us, we have people in probably all 50 states. And the decisions that we have to make from a corporate perspective are going to be um, different and the state and local guidelines may trump some of those um, bigger federal things. Um, so we have to, to take that into consideration and um, I know one of one of our team members wanted to know if the offices were going to stay you know where the offices were going to open and I thought oh my goodness I hadn't thought you know that people would actually want to come back to the office and you know their perspective was it's really hard to get work done at home and so even though maybe in Ohio we're saying if you go back to an office environment you need six feet of space and you have to wear your mask in an office environment that may be preferable to some folks who feel like they can't get things done at home. Um, so big recommendation, treat it like a project, involve people, have a tactical plan, and make sure you are incorporating concrete change management activities to really um, help your people um, make that transition more smoothly. So I'm just gonna turn this back over to Barbary to kind of bring us home. Thank you, Shannon. So one of the key things is, as we were talking and going through the worksheet, it's really good. It's really about you looking in and taking a good look at your role, your team, your business, and the future, and what that vision is. But as it is, we want to make sure that you have a really good understanding of where you're operating out of, not looking at it from the old, going back to the um, old normal, because we don't know if that old normal is going to exist. So what have you been doing for the last 30 to 60 days? And then thinking about that transition and how do I mitigate that transition as we start to find out what our guidelines are and going forward and making sure that we don't get it so that it's so long. Because we know that if we don't bring the people along with us, we're going to struggle as we get to that future and what that rollout's going to be. So just to kind of recap, I want you to think through that transition to new norm. Take a really good hard look at that worksheet. I think you're going to find it extremely valuable and you want to make sure that it stays fluid because things are going to change. We're not quite sure and we have to be flexible as we go through this change and we got to know that we never planned for this. We all had some type of um, crisis management planning, but we didn't plan for it to happen so quickly and so fast. So we have to think through how are we going to get to that. So with that, um, if you have any other questions or you need the worksheet again, please download it. We just texted it. We just put it again in the chat. But Dr. Sims and I are more than happy to work with you as individuals and help you understand and take it even to that next level about what is that new norm? What is it gonna be for leaders? Do leaders need to know how to work in that new remote environment? How are they going to manage people who might be in the office and who might not be in the office? And really put together what that detailed uh, roadmap is going to look like. 
We look forward to hearing from you. We hope you have enjoyed these three, this three-part web series. And if you have any questions, feel free. Now's a good time for you to put something in chat. And we have a few minutes left. We have about 10 minutes left. And um, if you have anything you'd like to talk to us about or privately, we're more than happy to work through any of these things that we've, we've spent over the last three um three weeks and thank you amy and i'm glad you found these to be very helpful anybody else have any comments or anything that you would like to see um yes all three presentations are available for download or later viewing so we will be following up with you on that thank you kara good great any other questions that are coming through i hope you found this as valuable as us we want you to stay healthy stay safe and um, this too shall pass. We're all in this together. So we look forward to hearing from some of you and we wish you all the best on the Thursday and enjoy your day. And real quick, I just wanted to give a great shout out to um, Leslie Owens, Cherise Sagona and Vanessa Young for um, helping to keep Barbary and I, it's probably like herding cats. So we really appreciate um, their support as we are, we're coming out to talk with you guys to help support you as you make this transition. We hope you have a great rest of your week. Thank you.